And now to meet our first challenger. Will you enter and sign in, please? Well, needless to say, the panel will realize that we have said Mr. X for good and sufficient reason. I don't think we'll give them any more information. May I just present the panel, Mr. X, and will you join me over here? And uh, we'll let the audience at home and the audience in the theater know exactly what your line is. All right, panel, we... Uh can tell you that Mr. X is salaried and deals in a service. And we'll begin the general questioning with uh, Arlene Francis. Mr. X, do you have anything whatsoever to do with the entertainment world? Yes. Are you yourself a performer, Mr. X? No. One down and nine to go, Mr. Anchor. I think I'll drop out. I think I know the gentleman. All right. We, were, we thought that Shall might happen, Paul. You'll disqualify yourself. And Miss Kilgallen? I think. Uh, Mr. Daly, doctor, sir, did you tell us where Mr. X was from? No, we decided we wouldn't because oh. uh, we felt that we wouldn't give you any information tonight just to sharpen the taste of things a bit. All right. You are connected with entertainment, but you are not a performer. Is that correct, sir? Yes. Would you like to say Mary had a little lamb for me? <laughs> uh. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do. I Mary can't... had a little lamb. There you go. Uh, now you know who it is, don't you? Yo, certainly. <laughs> <laughs> He's the little lamb that Mary had. <laughs> uh, Mr. X, uh, do you travel under a passport other than a United States passport? Yes. Is it some type of British passport? Yes. Uh, is it United Kingdom? Yes. Uh, are you any type of booker or impresario? Yes. Uh, do you, did you book Paul Anka's tour? No. No, that's two down and eight to go, Mr. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> What, Mr. X, did you have <clears throat> any association, whatever, with uh, a very successful group of young men called the Beatles? I quit. <laughs> Mr. Barry Epstein, who is uh, actually the... the uh, uh, impresario for the Beatles. Impresario, but more than that, the discoverer of the, of the Beatles. Brought them, the brought them together, first. Or the creator. It? The creator <laughs> of them. It, it's an interesting story, which uh, actually I probably shouldn't tell because you're, you have a book coming out rather soon, I think, that tells the story of... of uh, Are there book. any moments, Mr. Epstein, when you, re when you feel a little sorry about the whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, Bennett. As they might say here, I would think that Brian would very probably laugh all the way to the bank if he had any such <laughs> any moments like that. Which they're such darlings. They are so they are. sweet they're... and funny and cute. So there aren't any sorry moments. No. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, but it's an interesting story. Actually, uh, I sh you, Mr. Uh, Epstein has got a book, A Cellar Full of Noise, which I think is a, a fine title for it. <coughs> I don't want you to think that is any more than just an expression of an interesting title. Uh, <laughs> But he went, uh, he was in Liverpool, you were running, a, directing a uh, record shop. That's right, yeah. And somebody came in one day and asked for a record by this group he'd never heard of, and uh, he was one of those who believes the customer is always right and should get some service, so he started inquiring about the group, found out they were in Liverpool, went down to a, a cellar, the cavern, right? Yeah, yeah. And there he found the Beatles, and uh, of course the story from that point on is uh, known to almost everybody, except that he tells it in a very personal way. I'm sorry that we didn't do better than we did, uh, no, we didn't. Brian, but uh, there we are. <laughs> Mr. Anchor disqualified himself, and we expected that, but I didn't think the others would move as quickly as they did. Nice to have you visiting us in the United States, and congratulations on your Thank remarkable you very much success. Indeed. Good night. <laughs>